Good morning, my children, and welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. So for today, my children, we're going to finish with the last letter of the vowel. We're going to finish with this review. And remember the letter of today, the letter I, capital I, small I. Remember that we are already uh, seeing the review of the vowels. Remember there are five vowels in total. Letter A, letter E, letter I, letter O, and letter U. The first two, we already saw them, so uh, you only have to review them. Recuerden que las primeras dos vocales ya las vimos, ya trabajamos con ellas, pero eso no quiere decir que ya las vamos a dejar descansar. Recuerden que es importante que en sus repasos, pues, trabajen con ellas constantemente. Now, today we are going to make exercises based on the letter I. El día de hoy vamos a hacer ejercicios relacionados con la vocal I. Y en español con la misa ni recuerde que se llama E with the teacher Jacob letter I. Now yesterday we saw several objects with this letter. Vimos varios objetos con esta letra el día de ayer. Do you remember some of the objects that we discussed yesterday? Recuerdan ustedes algunos objetos que trabajamos el día de ayer con esta letra with the small I. The island, very good. The insects, the island, and the last one, the last object, what era el último que vimos? Very good, excellent. Now remember the island, it's a piece of land, un pedazo de tierra that is surrounded by water, que está rodeado de agua. Inside the island, we can have palm trees, that give us coconuts. Recuerden que en las islas también encontramos eh, palmeras de las, que, de las cuales eh, salen los cocos. Recuerden que el coco es una fruta muy, muy rica. Also, the insects like the ladybug, the bees, the ants, the caterpillars, all of those are parts of the family of insects. So, let's begin with the exercises of today. Now, the activities that are behind the teacher are part of your printed pages. Las actividades que están atrás de teacher Jacob son actividades que ustedes tienen en casita. Por lo cual, si ustedes quieren trabajar conmigo, you have five seconds, tienen cinco segundos, so you can grab your pencil case para que en su estuchera y su hoja del día de hoy. One, two, three, four, five. Let's commence. The first part of the activity is similar to this one. Now, in, in this activity, we have a lot of circles. Tenemos varios círculos. Inside the circles, we have letters. Tenemos todas las letras que hemos estado trabajando. Letter A, letter E, and letter I. But the only thing that is important for us is small i. Lo que nos importa para el día de hoy únicamente es small i, la I minúscula. No nos importan las demás letras. El día de hoy solo, solamente se trata de small i. So with your pencil or with your colors, we are going to mark with an X. Vamos a remarcar, vamos a trazar con un tache, all small eyes. Todas las small eyes que encontremos. So once again, you are going to do them in your sheet of paper. I'm going to do it on the whiteboard. So let's begin. Let's start with the first row, la primera fila. Remember, only, únicamente, small i. Here, we have one. At the beginning of the row, al principio de la fila, encontramos la primera small i. Let's continue. This is e, o, i. I of island, of insects. Okay, and that's, those are the only eyes. Let's continue with the second row. Segunda fila. 
A letter A letter A letter A letter A letter O letter I of Island. Letter U, that's not important, that's for later. Let's continue with the third row, la tercera fila. Letter A, letter I. So we mark it with an X. Letter A, no. Letter U, no. Letter A, letter U, letter A. Letter I, it's right here. So we mark it with an X. The letter of Island. Let's continue with the next row, la siguiente fila. Ah, here at the beginning of it, small i. Then we have letter A, letter O, letter I, which is the letter that concerns us, la que más nos interesa. Letter E, letter I, once again. Letter A, letter E, and those are the only I's. Let's continue with the next row. Vamos con la siguiente fila. Letter O, letter I. Of a glue of ice cream, also those letters, very good. Letter E, no. Letter A, letter U, letter A, letter E, letter I. We found another one. Let's mark it with an X. Let's continue with the next row. Letter E, letter U, that's not concern us, esa no, esa no queremos. Letter A, letter U, letter I, that's right. We mark it almost at the middle of the row, casi a mitad de la fila, encontramos I. Letter E, letter U, letter E, okay, let's check the final row. Letter I, at the beginning of it, we mark it, of course, with an X. Letter A, letter O, no. Letter I again, excellent. Letter E, letter O, letter I. And that's it. Those aren't the only letter I's that we found on this exercise. Remember, if in your own Page, if, you're, if you find more on your activity, si ustedes encuentran más en su hoja de actividades, no se les olvide marcarlas. Okay? Only small i. Now, let's continue with the second part of the exercise. Vamos con la siguiente parte del ejercicio. For this second part, we are only going to concentrate, only going to focus, únicamente nos vamos a concentrar on capital I, the capital I of Indian, of a glue, of ice cream, okay? All of those concepts, all of those objects, recuerden que todos esos objetos empezaban con la I mayúscula, with the teacher, capital I, okay? Now remember, the shape and form of capital I is like this. A vertical line in the middle, hold it by horizontal line up and horizontal line under. Recuerden que la I mayúscula tiene una línea vertical en medio, en, la, en una línea horizontal en la parte de arriba y una línea horizontal en la parte de abajo. Capital I. So, once again, let's check the exercise. Only capital I. So, for the first row, let's see, okay, no, no capital I, let's continue with the second row, capital I, right here, we mark it with an X, now, the one that is next to, is it capital I, no, it isn't, because it's missing one horizontal line right here. Esta letra no es una I mayúscula porque nos hace falta una línea horizontal en la parte de abajo. Por lo tanto, esta es otra letra que en Kinder 2 veremos. Okay? But this, no capital I. Let's continue with the third row. 
right here, capitalize with market. Okay, that's it. Let's continue under, abajo. Capitalize one more time. And that's it. Let's continue with the next row. Okay, once again, this letter right here, is it capital I? No, it isn't. Because remember, there is missing a horizontal line here. ¿De acuerdo? Que aquí nos hace falta una línea horizontal en esta parte de abajo. Por lo tanto, no capital I. Let's continue. Here, once again, capital I. And that's it. Let's continue with the next row. So, siguiente fila. Capital I, right here. And that's it. Next row. Once again, here, capital I. Now, check this out, my children. All of the capital I's are basically in the same line. Casi todas las capital I que hemos encontrado están en esta línea, en este orden. Ok. And that's it. Let's check one more time. Under. Once again, you see? Another capital I. And that's it. Now the final row. No capital I. Because remember... This is similar. The only difference is that we don't have a horizontal line in this part. Recuerden que esta es muy parecida, pero la diferencia es de que aquí nos hace falta una línea para que pueda ser capital line. Por lo tanto, la dejamos así. Very good. So that's it for today, my children. Once again, if you find more capital I's on your printed pages, don't forget to mark them with an X. Si ustedes en su ejercicio encuentran más y mayúsculas, no se les olvide, también pónganle su tachecito. So, I hope that you have an excellent afternoon. The teacher Jacob is always very happy to see you again. Don't forget that I love you very much. Take care. Goodbye.